Hi everyone, this is Happy Bird from HappyBirdsCraftingHaven.com and I'm here today to share um, a craft with you that I thought turned out really pretty. I purchased some of this link chain uh, from ButterbeeScraps.com and I spoke to the owner, Monique, and she gave me permission to um, post a link down below in the drop-down bar to her website. Uh, she's based in Canada, however, um, she does ship worldwide. I purchased a yard of the two and a half millimeter rhinestone trim for five fifty, and a yard of the four millimeter rhinestone trim for five fifty. And um, that doesn't include shipping, but I'm really not going to give a shipping cost because it depends on where you live, and um, of course how much you order. But um, I just wanted to show you this chain. I thought it was really pretty, high quality, and there's not a huge gap in between the chain and um, it cuts very easily so um, I'll show you what I did with it <clears throat> I purchased some dominoes um, at Dollar Tree and there's 28 dominoes in the pack and I like these dominoes because um, the the side with the with the dots, they're not indented, they're just stamped on. So you can just color right over them. So I'll show you what I made. This is the first thing that I made using the link chain. It's a it's a pretty cross made with a domino. And I didn't paint it. I used Sharpie pins, and I'll show you how I how I did that. Here's the back, and then I covered it with Mod Podge Super Gloss. It's a one coat gloss finish, and I made this design. So they're just very simple pendants, but I thought it turned out really pretty, and. I'll do um, an initial pendant with you in this video, so it'll, I'll show you a third way of doing it. Now the Mod Podge, I want you to notice the difference. This is the stuff you need. I bought this at Walmart for $5.27, I think. Don't get this kind. Don't get the kind that, that looks like glue. You know, see the white? Don't get that kind. This is completely different. This is a gloss finish. I don't know if you can see the difference, but on camera, but I can. This is a gloss finish, and this is more like glue, so this is the one you want. Okay? And close the lids. <clears throat> and you'll want a soft paintbrush. One thing I like about this is it seemed to rinse off um, the paint brushes very nicely with just cold water and soap. So that is if you don't let it harden right away. Okay, so um, you'll also need a pair of tweezers and a pair of old scissors that you don't care about. Now, the reason why you're going to need the old scissors is because I cut this chain with the scissors for the simple reason that I tried to cut it with um, wire cutters in between and because of the lack of a large gap it was very difficult for me to get the wire cutters in there and cut without affecting the rhinestone next to it so um, I just used plain old scissors and it worked very well so I'm keeping these scissors strictly for cutting these this chain I actually have um, a couple of ideas for crafts in mind so um, and then of course all I did was glue a glue on bale on the back and I um, used some silver plated ball chain here and I buy this stuff bulk off a seller on eBay, on, not on eBay, but on um, Etsy. 
But then it, uh, there again, I'll go ahead and post all of the links in the drop down bar. So I've yacked enough, so let me <laughs> pull out one of the dominoes and I'll show you what I did. Now I started, I started with the back and I used the side with the, the dots on it as the back. And so I used um, a fine tip marker. And I just started, you know, just coloring it like this. And I use the side of my pen as well. And I just do this all over. Now, this dries fairly quickly, but to speed it up, I would use a blow dryer. And just, I use the edge of my pen to do the edges here. I'm trying not to get it on the sides here. There we go. So it's easier, like when you go around the edges, just to use the side of the pen. Now, you're going to have to let this completely dry, like I said, use your blow dryer on it, and then you're going to do the sides with a bright color. It's good to use um, a bright neon type color. Okay, so I think I'll use this purple. And I'm going to, I'm using the side of the pin. I'm going to go all the way around. And if you see any white spots, like there's a, a, a I don't know if you can see it, a real fine white line, just run your pin, the side of your pin, along the edge and you'll be okay. And you know, do the same thing when you do all four sides and you um, finish there it's completely dry then you can just color on the back. Now when you color on the back it's best really to make lines like this sideways it gives kind of a marbled effect when you do that not sure why, but it does. And I just keep going, going, going until the whole thing is covered. If you get any on your hands, any Sharpie marker, um, you can get it off with a little alcohol. I think that would work fine. And of course, you know, you're going to use your blow dryer on this and allow this to dry too and um, your edges should have already been completed but um, it would have taken too long in between drying to show you that so I'm going to set this aside for a minute we're going to assume that this is completely covered uh, with the purple along the edges and the front and then on the back here in the black so we're going to let this dry and sit for a while and um, I have a couple of dominoes here that I did ahead of time, except the top. I didn't. That's the only part I didn't do. Um, once they were colored, I went in with a um, couple of soft paint brushes. This was for, you know, um, this is to use on the top and the bottom. This one is to use on the sides, like this, okay? And we're going to put the Mod Podge Super Gloss uh, One Coat Finish on it. And what we do 
is um, for the back I just took uh, a thin coat did the back and I let it dry for quite a while till I was able to pick it up and then when I picked it up I put a very super super thin coat on the edges believe me you don't want anything that is thick because when you go to set it down to dry if you put a lot all of that goop will fall down and this will be stuck to the plastic oh, I use a Ziploc bag to dry my stuff um, it'll be stuck to the plastic and it'll be a mess so you want just the thinnest thinnest coat on the sides okay then you would allow that to dry completely so there's a lot of drying drying time in between um, but the results are end up really pretty and at the very last when you're ready to decorate the front that's when you can go in like this and you're going to put a fairly good amount you know what I'm going to use the pink one for this you're going to put a fairly good amount on the top because you're going to want to place your chain and a few other things in there to decorate it. So I picked up these rhinestone initials by Recollections. I bought them at Michael's. I got them for half price. And I think I'm going to take a, a letter K off here because I have some somebody in mind that I'm going to make this for. Now, <clears throat> this is the tricky part because they are sticky on the back because they are scrapbooking stickers. So I take my tweezers and like so. And I'm going to drop it like that and then adjust it with the tweezers as to exactly where I want it. So now I'm going to take some of the four millimeter chain and I'm guesstimating it will probably be four lengths that I'll need. So I cut one, two, three, four right about here and I'm going to make a little decorative design here at the top and just kind of adjust it with my tweezers and that's all I did here for the cross one too I just took seven links of chain and adjusted it and then cut one individual link and put it on each side and it turned out so pretty and this will really hold rock tight so um, I'm just going to let this dry for now and it'll be really pretty and really shiny and I will tell you something else too don't be alarmed if uh, when putting on the Mod Podge uh, gloss on the edges if the edges change slightly in color um, it does that but uh, it, it just adds to the marble effect after it dries. I don't know if you can see it, maybe if, if I show you close enough. So um, anyway, it will turn out really pretty and, and I'll show you this when it's completely dried. I'll take a picture of it and post it on my blog. So at the very, very last one, this is completely dried. And you know, it says on the back of the bottle of the Mod Podge or at the back of the jar that it takes four weeks for it to cure but I think they're talking about furniture because um, a lot of times people use this you know to gloss over the top uh, for, for furniture you know coffee tables or whatever because this to me dries pretty quickly and it's pretty rock solid after a couple of days um, so anyway that, that's just my opinion um, for the bale, 
I just put a little E6000 right here on the glue-on bale and just, you know, put it on the top. And then I slipped a ball chain through it. So it's as simple as that. And like I said, it's it's not hard to do. It just, you know, it takes time coloring the, the dominoes and it takes a while for the drying time in between. But this would be a great project to start on during the summertime and have all these beautiful pendants ready for Christmas. Um, people just love handmade jewelry or homemade jewelry or jewelry that's made out of something different, like dominoes, you know. Um, as far as the dominoes are concerned, I found these dominoes at my smaller Dollar Tree that um, we have here in town, which really surprised me because I went to the larger one um, uh, close to where I live in the next town and they didn't have dominoes and they said they hadn't seen the dominoes in months. But my little one, they did have it, so you just never know. So kind of look for them. Um, I found mine at the Dollar Tree in the um, children's toy section. It was kind of where the games were, you know, the cards, the checkers, um, things like that. You know, but ask around. Your Dollar Tree might have it in a different place, too. And um, if you can't find it at the Dollar Tree, you might want to look at, like, um, Family Dollar Tree or something like that. Um, whatever you know, whatever dollar store you have closest to you. I'm not real familiar with Dollar General or Family Dollar because we don't have any um, in the area that I live in. It's all Dollar Trees or 99 cent stores. <laughs> I mean, that's that's it. <laughs> but um, you know, look around and ask around. So that's about it. And um, like I said, I'll post some of the links down below. I appreciate you watching all my videos, and God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.